I'm gonna show you how to memorize everything about the menstrual cycle in under two minutes. First, let's recall our classic endocrine axis. So our hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormones, stimulating the anterior pituitary to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone acting on the ovaries. Now our ovaries down here are the site where eggs are produced and they contain many, many follicles each month, some mature, but only one ovulates. Now the start of the menstrual cycle is marked by an increase in gonadotropin releasing hormone. And now as you would expect up here, there should be an increase in FSH and LH, but we don't see that down here. Now why? Well, we said our ovaries, we have our follicles and it starts off as a primary follicle. Now FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, as the name implies, stimulates the growth of our follicles. And as it does that, they secrete a really important hormone called estrogen. Now, estrogen, as we see, rises here, and it actually has a negative feedback, as we see here, on our anterior pituitary. So that's why we don't see increases of SSH and LH. Now, however, at around day 10 here, as estrogen continues to rise with the follicles producing it, we get a positive feedback where it's going to trigger a huge LH spike, a surge. That's the triggering of ovulation where the mature follicle is released as an ovum or oocyte. Remember, luteinizing hormone stimulates ovulation. Now, after day 14 of ovulation, the hormones start to drop off. The follicle turns into something called the corpus luteum, and this secretes a really important hormone called progesterone, and this has two really important effects. First, as we see up here, it inhibits our anterior pituitary and hypothalamus, so we get a suppression of GnRNH. We don't need follicle-stimulating hormones as we're in our luteal phase, and we don't need LH as we've already ovulated. And it also stimulates endometrial growth, as you see here, which either A, will shed each month with menses, or B, where it fertilizes. It also secretes estrogen here, and how do you remember estrogen has two peaks? Well, remember eels. Eels has two E's, estrogen two peaks. And fish for FSH has one eye, so one peak. Now, if there's no implantation in the corpus luteum, it will degenerate and all these hormones decrease. Progesterone can no longer inhibit our gonadotropin-releasing hormone, and so we get a new increase again, stimulating the cycle all again.